Excellency <coughs> Premier Li Chiang of the State Council of the People's Republic of China, leaders, friends and business communities of the People's Republic of China and the participants of CIIE, esteemed delegation from regional and international organizations. It is, of course, my honor to address this esteemed gathering, the 7th China International Import Expo, with the theme, New Era Shared Future. There's relevance to the theme of shared future, as referred to by Premier Li Chiang in a period of uh, unilateralism or protectionism of uh, divisiveness and discord. And we have China and the leadership of Premier, Pre President uh, Xi Jinping promoting this aggressively, that the world should benefit everyone, every country, big or small. And the principle, the policy of shared future is well received by countries in Asia, in Africa, in Latin America, in the global south. And that's precisely the reason why we in Malaysia agreed to participate in BRICS and I take special note to the spectacular address by President Xi Jinping in the recent BRICS conference in Kazan, where he urged that the spirit of shared future be adopted against forces of discord and protectionism. We must build a community of a shared future to uphold global peace, global security, and to share the experience, the expertise, the technologies to the world. And I take note also of the address by Premier Li Chiang that the phenomenal success registered by China is an example of not only of issue of governance and correct policies, but a promising attitude to ensure that the trade and investments and economic prosperity will be beneficial to the international community. And this is, of course, not an easy remark because it is contrary to the expression of many powerful economies of the world. And that's why I think I would join many of my colleagues in commending China and its leadership for this departure from a very obscure, condescending, and unfair trading practices. The International Expo provides an opportunity not only for Chinese companies, but companies throughout the world, smaller companies, medium enterprises, to showcase their capacity, their capability, and to be able to attract import or new investments or an expansion. So multicultural cooperation for free trade and sustainability goals must be used as a tool to advance global progress equitably instead of as a weapon to quell competition, promote unfair advantage, or create conflict. As ASEAN Chair next year, Malaysia aims to enhance regional cooperation and inclusive rules-based regional framework. In this vein, we would like to reciprocate the forward-looking, the shared future principle promoted by China, so that when we organize the ASEAN GCC of Gulf countries, Arab countries, we also include what is called ASEAN plus GCC plus China Summit, which will be of great consequence to the trajectory of regional growth 
and will make significant contribution to moving the needle on greater global parity in economic trade investments and in economic advancement. As the world's fifth largest economy, ASEAN too has the potential to be a driving force for inclusive socioeconomic growth that paves the way for an unprecedented era of sustainable shared prosperity. We're leaving no stone unturned, as you have seen here in China, in promoting good governance and combating and rooting out corruption, as well as implementing socio-economic and industrial reform agenda. We'll continue to be inspired, Premier Li Chiang, by your extraordinary success in battling poverty, which clearly signifies a major achievement in social engineering. Ladies and gentlemen, in closing, let me be reminded that the future is shaped by our actions today. I can't compete with the brilliance of Premier Li Chang's reference to the fire, and we all contribute to provide probably small woods, but you will give, you provide the basis for this huge fire exercise. But I would refer only to the Chinese saying, Xian Ren Zai Shu, Ho Ren Cheng Liang. When everyone adds wood to a fire, it burns higher. I am struggling with the Chinese, which I practice many times. One generation plants the trees, another enjoys the shade. Our efforts and sacrifice today will shape the course of our new era, creating a future that is inclusive, prosperous, and sustainable. A future that truly reflects our shared aspirations for our children and future generations. Thank you. Sia